Hello parents, Pastor Jason here with Fairfield Christian School. Wanted to send out this quick video, email, blog, whatever you want to call it, to uh, all of our parents who were unable to make it at back to school night uh, this past week. We thank all the parents who were able to come, but certainly recognize that for some of our families, maybe didn't quite work out in your schedule. So here is a quick recap of the things we talked about so you can be up to date on everything that is FCS. First thing we did was just give a quick update on some dates for the end of the year. Of course, no school Memorial Day, Monday, May the 28th. We have the Discovery Kingdom field trip coming up on Wednesday, June the 6th. Reminder that all students have to, that go have to either have a season pass or buy their ticket from us by June the 1st for $30. And all students by that Tuesday, June the 5th, who want to go have to be completely done with their schoolwork for the year. Also, I have graduation coming up June 8th. The 8th graders will graduate at 10 a.m. on that morning. And then the 12th graders that evening at 7 p.m. Invite all of our families to join us. Big family event. And then finally, summer school begins Monday, June 11th for three weeks. For all those students who did not complete their schoolwork for the year, $300 whether they come one day or the full three weeks. So make sure your child gets their work done before the end of the school year, if at all possible. Also wanted to make sure parents know that we're now selling our yearbooks. They will not be done by the end of the year. We don't do it that way. We like to wait until graduation is over as well as our end of the year field trip. So those pictures can be included in the yearbook. That means that it comes back to us sometime late summer. We'll notify you just as soon as those show up. But they are on sale right now. $35 if you buy them, uh, pre-purchase them before the school year is out. After the school year is over, they will be $40 to buy them anytime during the summer or beyond. Also wanted to let you know about our brand new Android and iPhone apps for our school. Just go on your phone to the App Store or the Play Store and uh, search Fairfield Christian School or FCS Family and you can download that app. And then just a reminder, we have a lot of ways we try to communicate with you. So hopefully you've signed up for our weekly email. If not, you can do that from our website. Hopefully you get our text reminders. We encourage everyone to get those, even if you don't usually text. You can text the word FCS to 313131 and you'll get reminders for important school events. Already mentioned you can download those apps. Of course, you can visit our website as well. Always updated with information for you. Please uh, do one or four of these things or all of them uh, to make sure that you're constantly in the know about everything we're trying to let you know as it relates to our school and to your kids. We also went over the results of our McGraw-Hill uh, Terra Nova online test, and we talked about how we don't really like standardized testing around here. We recognize it's important from an accreditation standpoint and to make us competitive in the school market. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the big thing about standardized testing for us is we like comparing the results uh, from one year to the next for individual children because we all know there's no such thing as a normal child. We don't buy the lie that public education tells us that there's such a thing as a normal kid. Those of us with more than one child know that to be true. And so we like seeing how kids are progressing from one year to the next. On average, kids who's been with us more than one year I have about a 1.3 increase, where 1.0 is a normal average uh, year's increase. Those are the statistics we look at. So as you look at your child's test results, if you don't understand something or have some concerns, please just call the office and we would be glad to talk you through those. On the subject of accreditation, I want to remind everybody that we are still in the accreditation process with ACTS and WASC at dual accreditation. Everything is going well. Had our pre-visit, uh, could not have went better. Went through a big checklist, passed on everything. They did give us a few uh, documentation issues they'd like to see uh, just uh, formatted a little bit differently when they come back for their regular visit. And that visit will be this fall. Our original hope had been for it to be this spring. However, ACTS and WASC uh, took much longer to agree on an accreditation protocol than we had anticipated. It was supposed to be done in the fall. wasn't done until the spring. By the time they agreed, the Christian and the secular organization, uh, there just simply weren't enough day days left to finish up accreditation in this school year to follow their timeline. So all is well, all is on target, should be done in the fall, and we will update you about that uh, later on this summer as we approach our accreditation visit in the fall of the coming school year. All right, now just a quick review of some of the highlights of 2011-2012. We did introduce our new Ignitia curriculum this year, which was an upgrade from the switched online, a switched on online curriculum that we had. Big changes, uh, loved absolutely almost all of it. Uh, they were very responsive to some changes throughout the year. I think our kids noticed a big improvement in the way our education happened this year, so we're very excited about that. 
Uh, we quickly forget that we went through a name change this year we hadn't planned on. So a lot of rebranding, printing, redesigning websites, all kinds of stuff in the middle of the year. Plus, we already talked about all our communication improvements, our apps and our text alerts and mail. Big thing was the switch to directed instruction in 7th through 12th grades. So and we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Uh, but we also introduced that in math and language in 3rd and 6th grades. Had major success. Very excited about what we've discovered and the direction that it's going to take us in the school year to come. And speaking of those changes, uh, some we're going to talk about are minor, uh, just cosmetic improvements or uh, feedback that we've received from you that caused us to make some changes. We're excited to talk about those. Others will be a little more extensive. So we'll roll through a few of those now. Probably won't answer all of your questions. And so if you do have remaining questions you'd like answers to, please just contact me directly or contact Ashley in the office and we'd be glad to talk to you some more. One of the minor changes for next year is, of course, a bunch of new clothing. Uh, we changed the school name, so a lot of need for a new clothes around here. The big change is the way we're going to have you do ordering is going to be single item ordering online. We don't have to maintain minimums in the office. It was a big uh, kind of nightmare for us the last couple of years trying to coordinate all the orders from all the families and having enough to make our minimum orders. And some of you waited a long time. And we have a wonderful family that own a company called Front to Back Designs that their grandchild is in our school. And they have graciously come alongside us, partnered with us to uh, make your life a whole lot easier and ours as well. So look for a bunch of new designs out in just the next couple of weeks. You can order throughout the summer, and especially once school gets closer to time. Uh, next year also, just a couple of things. Wednesday is going to be Christian T-shirt day for kids that want to sport some different apparel. We'll continue our Friday free dress days, and we'll give you an update completely in the handbook this summer on uh, what dress code looks like for next year. We had such great success with our directed instruction that I mentioned earlier that we're anticipating rolling that out in the entire school, grade five and above, in all core subjects, third and fourth grade math and language pullouts, much how Mr. Voice has already done that in the last portion of this year. And we're looking forward to great success. And of course, K through two will basically remain unchanged, always looking for better ways to do things, but the structure is already there. But as we have found that balance between individualization and uh, group instruction and discussion, we think we've really found the sweet spot. So we're excited to have an entire year uh, the way we finished the year in grades 7 through 12 and then with our math instruction in 3 through 6. So we'll roll that out 5 through 12 is the goal. All core subjects, full periods for each subject with qualified teachers uh, by subject. So that'd be a little bit different for our 5th and 6th graders. And then 3rd and 4th continuing with the math and language pullouts. We are very excited about seeing uh, the academic results with this system implemented this year. Alright and now probably the biggest one. Uh, when we first started our school our church decided, our board decided, that we would be a Christian school first and an academic institution second. Here's what that means. That although we strive to have the best possible academics that we can, we firmly believe that our primary goal is to teach our students about the love of Christ. And so consequently, we want families who have the same goal, who raise their kids in church, who teach their children the word, who reinforce biblical values at home. And through kind of a glitch in our office that I will take first resp uh, complete responsibility for, my fault, uh, we weren't quite as firm on that as we should have been. Consequently, we've uh, got some families who had enrolled in school who just didn't quite share those priorities the way that we did. And so coming back uh, for our fourth year, we have kind of drawn the line in the sand and said, you know what, this is who God's called us to be. This is what we're going to be. And to that end, every family, whether re-enrolling or brand new, has to submit a strong pastor recommendation letter could be from a support pastor on staff, but someone who knows the family who says this family comes, they're strongly involved in our church, we see evidence in their life that they're raising their kids with Christian values. Now we recognize that some families will not have a home church when they find us, maybe they're between churches, or maybe they've even been out of church, but God's been moving on them to get back involved. We have a 90-day provisional period in place where we'll work with families to help them find a place to go. We don't want to be draconian about this, but we don't want to roll over on it either. And as a consequence, uh, we may very, very well uh, have a smaller student body this year from families who wanted a private, uh, strong academic education, but weren't so much interested in following up on the biblical values on the outside of the home, or sorry, on the outside of the school and in the home. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. We don't want to sound mean, but we definitely want to reinforce the church and the home with what we do here at the school, and it just makes for a better atmosphere for your kids here on campus.
And then this time of year, I always get questions about who's my child's teacher going to be. Uh, we certainly had a lot of change uh, this year in our third through sixth grades, and we apologize about that. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, we do anticipate welcoming at least a couple of new faces next year. The vast majority of our staff will return, and we're excited to see the cohesiveness of a staff that's been together more than a year when we roll into the next school year. So as we finalize uh, those decisions, and honestly, it's just based on enrollment, as we wait for families who have told us they're going to re-enroll but maybe haven't yet for uh, financial reasons or other reasons, we can't exactly hire teachers and extend contracts in good faith to the teachers. So we're waiting to see what our enrollment numbers look like. But we do have the contingency plans. We do know who uh, will be coming back. And just as soon as possible, we'll make that information available to you. If you have a specific question you really need an answer to now uh, as you're making a decision, please just call me. I would love to talk to you about it more. Okay, one last big change for the coming year. You know, we've always had student community service hours, and we're finding better ways this coming year to enforce those because uh, not all students have seen the need to be the hands and feet of Jesus outside the church walls as we've intended, so we're working on that. Uh, but our board voted unanimously to institute family investment hours. We're asking every family to donate 20 hours for the entire school year. That's an average of about a half an hour a week. We're gonna have many opportunities. Some will be one day opportunities for families who can't help during the week. A lot of them will be, hey, come help us for a half an hour at lunch, one day a week, maybe Tuesdays at lunchtime is your day. Uh, if you're off work or can help, that would be fantastic. We'll track all that through the office. Uh, anybody but kids can fulfill those, aunts, uncles, grandparents, any adult, welcome, as long as it's organized through the office. You certainly can cash that out if you'd rather just write us a check. Some families have actually asked to do that, so we made that available to you. And we'll unveil more of this uh, throughout the summer, but wanted to give you a good update on that happening. And then just a quick rundown on some things that we're working on. We're uh, working on fine-tuning our lunch ordering system. We've heard you about some of the things that you liked this year and about many of the things that you didn't. So had a good meeting today with uh, my office staff. I think we've found uh, some good solutions. We'll be talking to you more about that probably uh, sometime mid-summer, but look for some good changes that will help you with our lunch ordering system. Uh, probably going to uh, debut a, a college on-track system for our juniors and seniors to help them track their SAT scores, their applications for colleges, uh, essays, uh, even in their search for finding colleges that would meet their criteria. Uh, real excited about that. You'll hear more about that soon. We always get questions about sports teams, which I always respond, hey, we need coaches. So we've got some kids who are interested, but we can't afford at this point to hire the coaches. So maybe for your volunteer hours this year, you want to come help us coach the sports teams, that would be great. And then we're looking at, and we'll talk to you about in August, uh, more music classes and more after-school clubs for the kids this year. I think you're going to be excited about the changes we're going to make there. And then one last big piece of information for you as regards our tuition increase for this year. I want to be very transparent. This was a tough year where normally probably three to five to maybe seven percent of our families in the past have struggled to pay their tuition on time. At times this year it was up to 38 percent. The result was uh, as families began to leave because they couldn't afford tuition, job changes, uh, job losses, as well as families being behind in their bills for various reasons, uh, we gave our teachers a 20 percent pay cut. We actually have paid them most uh, weeks five to ten days late uh, and they've been great. They're all coming, wanting to come back and do the best they can for their kids. So we are raising tuition, one, to pay for the new preschool building from the school, uh, from the church that we took over this year that we hadn't planned on, as well as to give us a better cushion so we're not falling over or living on that edge uh, every single week. So I hope you understand. If you've got questions about that, please give me a call. Love to talk to you about it. And finally, we got to your questions and ideas. Of course, you were already commenting back to us, the parents who were here all throughout the evening. Uh, but one of the main things we talked about under uh, questions and ideas was a problem we had this year with uh, attendance and tracking attendance and making sure uh, parents knew if their kids got to school on time, especially working parents. And uh, we are this close to getting rid of any kind of excuse tardy. Uh, it seems like those ran rampant this year. And uh, as unexcused tardies mount up, what the consequences are going to be to try to get kids to school, one of the parents actually suggested that we have so many uh, unexcused tardies or unexcused absences uh, translate into additional uh, family investment hours. And I gotta tell you, I kinda like that idea. Uh, the usual answer is just to charge parents for it. I am so aware of how much we all sacrifice uh, to put our kids in private school. The last thing I wanna do is hit your pocketbook unless I absolutely have to. So just asking you to help us with attendance as we move forward. 
And that was our evening. So if we didn't hit a topic you hope to know about, please just shoot me an email, jasony at fcsfamily.com, or give us a call to the school office. We'd be glad to answer it the best we know how. We love you guys. We appreciate you trusting us with your kids, and we look forward to an even better year in the 2012-2013 school year. If I don't talk to you before then, have a great summer. God bless, and we'll see you in the fall.